Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Soup channel. My name is Matthew Ramos and on this channel I aim to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So guys, we finally got Silver Lining, the final chapter of the City That Never Sleeps DLC. And to be honest, the final DLC suits were pretty fuego. So today I'm going to be reviewing and ranking all of the DLC suits that we got from the City That Never Sleeps DLC. So let's get right into it. So starting off with number nine, the most trash suit out of all of them, the Spider UK suit. Now, there's no other words to say this, but this suit is trash. No disrespect to the UK, but this suit is trash. It's one of the worst suits out of the entire game. And when I saw it, that it was announced to be a part of the first DLC pack, I was like, what the is this? So, next on the list, number eight, we have the Resilient suit. This was... A custom made insomniac suit from the first DLC pack the heist and to be honest this suit is another suit that wasn't appealing to me and I didn't like the way it looked I do like the color scheme like the way the way the colors look but overall I think it's one of the trash suits out of the rest next on the list we have the cyborg suit now this was a suit that was attached to the third final dlc silver lining and to be honest when it was announced like i thought it looked really ugly but in gameplay it acts, it's actually a lot better than it looks and i actually like it a lot like the way it plays with the metal arm like i feel like i'm the winter soldier like going ham on people with that metal arm and i also like how he has this bandana that it like moves when you're swinging and I think it looks cool. It's a dope suit. And so next on the list, we have the air, the spider armor mark one. So this was a suit that a lot of people were hyped for. I thought it should have been in the final game. It should have been attached to the final game as we got, you know, the spider armor mark two, spider armor mark three and spider armor mark four. In the final game I thought that this should have been one of the suits that was directly inputted into the final game but we got it in DLC and this suit looks awesome you know it looks so during the daylight it looks really shiny as the Sun reflects off of the silver armor and it's a dope suit but compared to the rest it comes in at number six so number five we got the Aaron Aikman armor you know, this was a suit that was attached to Silver Lining. And when I, I've never seen this suit, but this is a suit that was in the comics. And um, when I saw this suit in gameplay, it looks so good and it plays so good. You know, it kind of reminds me of a Spider-Man X Astro Boy. Just because the way like the his legs are. His legs are very chunky and he's very robotic. And I feel like out of all of the suits, this is the most robotic feeling Spider-Man suit. But I love the way the colors look, the spider emblem and the lenses. The lenses look really badass. And I just love the way the suit looks overall. And it's coming in at number five. Next, number four is the Spider-Clan suit. Now this was a suit that was attached to Turf Wars. It was really highly anticipated as the lead director of Spider-Man PS4, Brian Intihar, stated that this was his favorite suit. And when we first got it in the you know DLC Turf Wars suit reveal picture, you know it was a very weird looking suit just because it looked very animated and it had like the ultimate spider-man graphics and i didn't know how it was gonna play in game but it actually looks really really cool in game i feel like when i'm playing with this suit i feel like i'm playing as like a 15 year old peter parker and to be honest if it reminds me a lot of the daredevil costume we got from season three just because of the way that his you know hands are wrapped up 
in that, you know, rap per se. And Daredevil had that same look in Daredevil season three. And I thought it was very badass. You know, how he had the, his, the ropes tied around his fists. And this suit has that same look. And I really like this suit. You know, it has a different type of graphics to it. And it ha it's very unique in its own way. So, spider can land suit coming in at number four. Number three is the spider armor. The iron spider armor. And this was a suit that, you know, everyone wanted in the final game. But they didn't put it in because they, we already had the Infinity War Iron Spider suit. And, you know, this was one of my most highly anticipated suits going into the Turf Wars DLC. And this is one of my favorite suits out of the entire game. Because I just think it looks so cool. The way the red and the gold, they really mesh well together. And it looks really, really good in gameplay. And... It looks even more beautiful with the Iron Spider suit power with the legs coming off the back. And I just love the suit so much. You know, that crimson red really comes out and shines in the daylight. And it looks really badass. So the Iron Spider armor coming in at number three. Now coming in at number two is one of my top five suits out of the entire game. And it's the Scarlet Spider 2 suit. You know, this suit was the only suit that I really loved out of the first DLC, the heist. And this suit just looks so freaking amazing. When I played it, I, I, this was my favorite suit for a long period of time after the release of the heist DLC. This was my favorite suit out of the entire game just because that the way that red pops and, you know, really shines in the, in the daylight, when you're battling against foes and enemies, it looks really good in combat. And then during the, you know, during the finisher animations. And I just love this suit so much. The way the red, it really pop, makes the, that pop. And I just love that red and black color scheme. You know, this is a very iconic suit. And, you know... In previous iterations of this suit, such as the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game, you know, this suit was in that, but it did not it did not look as good as it does here. You know, in this game, that red really, really pops and it looks really, really nice when you're battling against other enemies and swinging in the sunlight. So that is the Scarlet Spider 2 suit coming in at number two. Next, coming in at number one is... The Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse suit. You know, this was the suit that really made me fall in love with the DLC, the um, Silver Lining DLC suits. I, I thought that the Silver Lining DLC suits were, was the best DLC suit pack. And this suit is gorgeous. You know, coming off of the release of Into the Spider-Verse and, you know, seeing how great that movie was. You know, personally, my favorite movie of the year over Infinity War, but we'll get to that later. But whatever. So Spider-Man is the spider suit. It looks so good. I was in, I was experimenting with the suit in photo mode. And if you really look close into the suit, it has that same dot, those same dots and the same lines that are seen in the animation style of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which is an insane detail to incorporate into Spider-Man PS4 and into this suit, you know, Insomniac, this suit really made me think that Insomniac just, you know, really, really goes into detail, extreme detail to bring these suits to life into their Spider-Man PS4 video game. And this is one of my favorite suit. It's definitely a top three suit out of the entire game. And I just love this suit so much. You know, it even has the same Peter Parker body type that we saw in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and just the way that lenses are so big and the way they're very expressive in cutscenes and this was just my favorite DLC suit that we got out of the entire City That Never Sleeps DLC and just the way the, the suit is so vibrant and has that very animated feel to it. I just love this suit and it also brings 
that feel that the MCU suits and that Raimi suit bring, which it makes you feel like you're playing as, you know, the Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse. When I played as this suit, I felt like that the Peter Parker character from Into the Spider-Verse jumped right off the movie screen and into this video game. And I felt like I was playing as him. And that's what I love about these, you know, movie suits. That they bring this feel to it that changes the entire way that suit feels when you're playing as that suit. So, there you guys have it. There's my DLC suits ranking. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time.